if you give Urban Meyer enough time, he will win games. He will win football games, whether that's at Bowling Green, State University, in Ohio, whether that's at Utah, whether that's at Florida, whether that's at Ohio State. He will win games. And the better players he's given the opportunity to coach, as you've seen in Florida and Ohio State, he will win national championships. But you will also see him in a scandal and always involved in things that he should not be involved in or his players should not be involved in. And this is just another instance of, you know, Urban Meyer and Jacksonville uh, just up to something. We've seen the Chris Doyle situation with the Iowa strength, Iowa strength and conditioning coach. We've seen him play the Cincinnati Bengals on a Thursday night football game and then, you know, go head back to Columbus and participate in things that he and his family have to discuss that many people outside of his family found inappropriate, but you can't judge a man for what he does personally. It's really up to him and his own personal family. And then you see him, you know, getting into the situation with the kicker, Josh Lambro, Lambo, however you pronounce his name. And I'm not surprised. You know, um, I think one of the biggest, a lot of people are not a fan of Irvin Meyer. He's a very tough coach. He wins games. Right now, they're not winning games. So right now, these Jacksonville players are not putting up with it. But at Ohio State, which I can speak to, he wasn't beloved by every player on the team. He can get you to he can get you to the NFL. You win games. You're on national TV. You're playing in front of millions of people every every week, and I think that's the sacrifice you have to put up with and get up out of there. That's why a lot of guys after three years, especially at Florida and Ohio State, they they leave. Everyone's not Tim Tebow. They're not gonna stay forever. And and you know, a lot of guys got up out of there, and he got a lot of guys up out of there. He kicked a lot kicked people off of teams, but he put up with a lot of stuff too. And just this is a situation where this kicker is a, a, another person in Jacksonville that doesn't like him. When he was at Ohio State, you a lot, a lot of people who, if you follow college football, know who Joe Clatt is. And he and he talked about the differences of Urban Myers last year at Ohio State and when Ryan Day was there. And he said when he was at when he went in, because the media they get to come in, especially if you're calling a game, talk to players and you know, get a feel. So when they, they have things to discuss on broadcasting, he said it was like going in there, it felt like walking on eggshells, you know, with Urban Meyer. And then you come back a year later, you have Coach Ryan Day, and he says a lot of people were more happy, joyous. Hey, Joe, it wasn't as like a, a fear factor. Not saying he was, they were scared of Urban Meyer, but there was a lot of Urban Meyer is not for the nonsense. He wants to win, and if he feels like you're not winning, he's not going to respect you. And this is a, a situation in Jacksonville where the guy missed some kicks, and Urban Meyer wasn't really thrilled with it, and allegedly he 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 kicked him. Now I don't know what the NFL is going to do about a, a a coach kicking a kicker. I don't know if he can get suspended for that. I don't see him getting fired for it. But this is a situation that's that's not going away, and it shows you that everywhere Urban Meyer goes, he can win. But he also brings scandal, controversy, and unwanted news. Don't be a distraction. And Urban Meyer once again is a distraction.